that has great support. BBC Moscow correspondent Caroline Wyatt joins me along with Nigerian football journalist Oluwashina Okaleji who joins us from Paris. Caroline, I'll come to you first. Uh, the Russian bid say they fully comply with their submission and the US has reached far beyond its borders in this investigation. Now, Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, has spoken in the past hour. What has he had to say? Well, he has had a pretty strong reaction to what's been happening. He's gone on state TV um, just now, accusing the US of meddling outside its jurisdiction. In his statement, he says it looks very strange, these arrests that have been carried out at the request of the USA. He says that international officials who've been accused of corruption, well, I can suppose someone broke rules, I don't know, but definitely it has nothing to do with the USA, and these officials are not US citizens. So uh, President Putin Putin here in Russia is saying it's another clear attempt by the USA to spread its jurisdiction to other states. And as if the prosecutor in the US didn't know about the principle of the presumption of innocence. So it's very much a strong defense, if you like, of um, FIFA, of Sepp Blatter. And President Putin is known to be very loyal to his friends. Sepp Blatter is one of those friends. They were last seen together in public in April down in Sochi, which is one of the locations where the World Cup in Russia will take place in 2018. So clearly, Mr. Putin is taking this as a political move. So President Putin certainly has a good friendship with Blatter, and you can see he's got support there. Oliver Sheena, why is Sepp Blatter and FIFA so popular in Africa? Well, Sepp is considered to be a great friend of Africa. Um, Mr. Blatter has actually delivered on all his promises to the continent, um, from having two um, representatives at the FIFA World Cup Africa and um, started getting five slots um, to, represent, um, to represent the continent at the, um, at the world stage. And then, of course, the, the, Sepp Blatter has also delivered in one of his promises during the campaign in 1998 that the tournament will come to the continent, um, all FIFA tournaments will come to the continent. And um, in 2009, Nigeria hosted the under-17 FIFA World Cup. Um, Egypt hosted the under-20 World Cup. And then the biggest one was staged in South Africa in 2010. But most significantly, um, under, under Sepp Blatter and um, FIFA have actually um, given African um, 54 federations an opportunity to benefit and tap into the FIFA Go project. This is a brainchild of um, Sepp Blatter, and this has actually affected grassroots in the continent. So Africa loves Sepp Blatter, and Sepp Blatter actually loves Africa. Okay, just finally then, try and sum this up in around 30 seconds. What would it mean to African football if there was an alternative to set bladder. Well, I think um, a lot of people cannot, you can't gauge the opinion of fans out here in Africa or where, what they would think about Sepp Blatter. But Africa is very crucial to um, world football. And I think anyone who's stepping in, whether Sepp Blatter continues or whoever is coming, will understand that this is the continent with the 54, the highest number of representatives in world football, 54 full members, bigger than Europe, bigger than Asia, and of course, bigger than South America. Caroline in Moscow, and Oliver Sheena in Paris. We're going to have to leave it there, but thank you very much. Well, Sevilla can look forward to playing in the UEFA Champions League next season after retaining their Europa League title.